Hey everybody, Wanna Weezum here. It is now uh, Saturday, May 31st, 2014, a little after 3 in the morning. I am officially going to begin the blind playthrough of Mario Kart 8 for the Nintendo Wii U. Now, uh, came out uh, technically today, May 30, Friday, May 30th, 2014. It's still today to me. Uh, the sun hasn't come up for Saturday just yet. Uh, that said, picked it up bright and early at GameStop, got the poster. Uh, poster's nothing too fancy. We cover it, my nephew and I, in the unboxing. Uh, I had hoped to kind of like take off from work a little bit early and, you know, play that with my nephew all day. Didn't really happen. Uh, things change. You get busy at work. But uh, we got back to uh, the house a little after supper time and uh, was able to kind of go through things. We did about uh, three recordings. The third one is currently... Uh, it's just about done processing on YouTube. The other two are live right now. That'll be like a multiplayer, uh, just kind of randomness thing uh, as we go about it and whenever we're together and record. Uh, I plan to have an online uh, playlist as well. That'll primarily be me and him. Uh, some of you on the friends list, some of you that, you know, into Mario Kart and want to be in the recording. Hope to get that going. Biggest issue there is going to be my internet connection. Uh, we'll have to see how that one goes. But uh, <clears throat> that said, what this is going to be, it is going to be the basically solo run through the game. Uh, don't know that I'll go like 100%. That would basically entail beating all of like the uh, Nintendo ghosts and time trials, things of that nature, but it will be essentially uh, 50, 100, 150 cc, uh, possibly mirror, it'll kind of depend uh, time frame what's going on Skylanders wise, but uh, we're going to go ahead now and get started here, I like to do the, you know, start of a playthrough from the menu so you can see everything here. Alright, now the audio may reverb, uh, it's an issue uh, outside of the stuff I did with my nephew. I did actually do like uh, two time trials, uh, just Moo Moo Meadows and uh, the GBA Mario circuit. But uh, you may hear some of the audio reverbing on these first few recordings. I'm trying to kind of learn the balance of Skylanders, I know exactly what to do. But uh, Mario Kart 8, I kind of want to hear the sounds myself. And that involves me having to hear the TV, so we're going to kind of have to play around with that. But uh, I'm going to go ahead, just one set of these cutscenes we'll watch, and then I'll come in and get things going. And provided it loads. It's taking a sweet time. <laughs> for having been sitting on the title screen so long. There we go. Alright, there's Miss Rosalina. That must be the new Rainbow Road. Well, it looks like it... Yeah, that would have to be new unless they've added a lot of extra stuff to it. Uh, plus, you're not, like, falling down into space. This looks like you're above... Almost looks like Nintendo Land. I don't know what you think about it. She's a fitting character for Rainbow Road, I think. So, I'm sure that's going to be a nightmare. But, so uh, there's probably, who knows how many of these type of cutscenes, but I won't make you watch them all, just know that they are there. Um, Mario Kart TV, this is kind of a cool deal, you can come in here, I'll just cover this stuff one time. I know some of you are probably like, get to the shell cup. Uh, and we're actually not going to do that, we're going to start on the top list, but I kind of want to highlight the little features here now. This is my recent stuff. The kind of—it's almost like what the X-Bone does. It's just like a little highlight reel of your action. Uh, you can favorite some uh, global popular. We watch some of these, and they're like awful. Um, so I'm not sure where the popularity came from. Eventually, it'll probably be really good stuff. But uh, I'm gonna back out of there for you. All right, now this is interesting. Online two-player. Uh, that means if my nephew was here with me, and uh, maybe we had like you know, a group of ten or so ready to go online racing, we could jump in on this. Uh, if it's just me here at 3:11 in the morning, like it is right now. It's going to be one player. Um, 
you can pick worldwide, regional, your friends list, uh, which I'll come in here for you. Uh, this is just some people, you know, but uh, I think Daryl might have been playing this earlier. But uh, it's mainly Skylander people, you know, currently. Uh, here's David. He, he might be on the PS4 right now, but... Um, Octane, of course, he's probably gonna have. I think he's out of town right now. But uh, sure, he will make up for that. That said, you just come in here. I don't quite know uh, if there's like a green background when your friends are online or what exactly. But this top button here, you create your room. You can go from there. Uh, tournaments is pretty cool, and here's why: you can create a tournament, and I think you can actually keep it uh, private, as best I know. Now, here's some popping up now. Um, you're not going to worry about any of that. Uh, whatever. We're just going to get out of here. Uh, I won't showcase all this stuff to you. I just kind of want to cover Now, multiplayer, that's what my nephew and I did earlier. Uh, it's basically going to split the screen up two or four parts. Now that I have a bigger high-def TV, it's actually <laughs> really nice. But um, it's essentially one of those deals. I've watched the videos on YouTube. They turned out great. Uh, what you see is pretty much in the videos what you would see in your living room. Uh, again, to me, Mario Kart 8 is a game that sells hardware, software selling hardware essentially. That said, this is single player. We're gonna do that because hey, that's that's what we're gonna do. So, all right, now in single player, you got several options here. I promise we are almost to the race. Uh, Grand Prix, that's of course where you're going to go for the gold in a four cup race as they so perfectly word it right there. Time trials, you can come in here if you're having trouble on a track. Uh, maybe you and your buddies always race on uh, Mario Circuit and you want to get the edge. Thing you can do is come in there, see if you can set a good time, see what kind of different combinations work. Carts, bikes, tires, gliders, things of that nature. Uh, pro tip is basically just race the Nintendo Ghost. If you get to a point where you can beat the Nintendo Ghost, uh, you know, you won't have to slaughter them, but if you can just beat them consistently, uh, you will win most races, barring the use of any items. Of course, items that can take the world's best Mario Kart racer and put them into last place pretty much every time. Uh, versus race, this would basically just be like, you know, hey, uh, I didn't get my three star. Assuming they do the three star ranking, I would assume they would. But uh, say that I just wanted to practice on some of the tracks or something, but I wanted to feel the racers. I'm solo, don't want to go online. That's what we do. Uh, battle mode. Uh, my nephew and I actually did not play this. Shockingly, um, we'll explore it later. But uh, initially, you've got 16 characters here. Um, Pretty much your standard issue stuff. We'll unlock more as we go. But um, let's see what versus race does. Same thing. So you can probably set your options after that. Now, time trials, I will highlight a little better for you. Uh, you essentially come in here, you select your options, and then you can select your track. You can go from there. Um, I don't think it would make me start. So the ones I did were these two Moo Moo Meadows, Mario Circuit. Um, Here's what it works. You know, you've got solo race, that means just you, nothing going down. Uh, you can race against a ghost, which right now that would be me. Uh, that's what I named myself. I need to get that changed to uh, one of Wisdom or something. But uh, that was my time there. Uh, you can back out of there. And if you view the ghost, that's me. But if you see Daisy lurking dangerously ahead of me, um, yeah, I'm 147, 787. She's 146, 099. But uh, this is Nintendo Ghost, of course, and we, if you beat these ghosts, you would eventually unlock cool, so which I think it was Toadette, uh, a couple of, maybe you might get items more in this one. Um, you can also come in online ghosts, you know, that'd probably be eventually hackers in all likelihood, and uh, anyone, though, I mean, if there's somebody that posts like a 139 lap time, something crazy, you can kind of see what route they take. You can also upload your ghost data for other people to race against. Uh, pretty much standard issue stuff there. And now it's uh, time to get started. So we're only, well, 10 minutes in. Uh, <laughs> I went as fast as I could. I mean, I, this is the only time we're going to cover this. It's a brand new game. A lot of you uh, may have been oblivious to it. Uh, some of you like, 
I don't know, might not have the funds for the game, or you might be having to wait, or you might think, oh, I don't know, I kind of want to wait, there's some other games I want to pick up. That's why I showcase this stuff, you know, it's the start of the playthrough, it's important to cover everything, and we never have to do it again. So, that said, we're going to jump in here to the Grand Prix. Um, is this already an option? Well, oh, okay, well, that's interesting. I thought you had to unlock them. Anyway, we're going to go in order. We're going to do 50cc 50 50cc 50 low speed fun for everyone. Picking up speed, high so okay, so... Um, it does look like you can 3 star everything too, judging by the uh, 3 stars right above that. Uh, note that on the 50cc side of the screen there's like a really cool cosmic galaxy dust type look. Um, minor detail, they could have just done straight blue. I kind of appreciate that, I think it looks neat. So. That said, 50cc, if you know me, I'm going to do things uh, a little differently. Um, most people come in, option everything out, trick out their stuff. I'm going to go with Mario, and you know what I'm going to do? Standard, standard, standard. Why? I feel like that's how most people play the game. I know there's the hardcore people, you know, and it's like, oh, we got to optimize for each and every track. Most people... When they come into Mario Kart as a casual game, they want to have fun. They may play the snot out of it. It might be like a weekly event with a group of friends, but it's still it's just like, let's get together and have fun. So I try to keep the playthrough geared more towards that. Um, if this takes off really well, and uh, people are like, hey, you need to like do more intense stuff or something, then I'll come in, I'll start customizing stuff. You might see me do the time trials, things of that nature. I do take my Mario Kart fairly seriously, but uh, I have actually debated doing the Retro Cups first, you know, in their entirety. But at the same time, this comes first, they're the new tracks. And then I've debated doing Mushroom and then Shell, you know, and then coming in and doing that order. I may actually do that. But uh, nonetheless, I'll get through all of them. And uh, the cool thing is, you know, once we get past these two cups that my nephew and I played, because they're the only two that are unlocked right now, uh, we will be into some cool unseen action. So I have not checked up on outside of like some of the stuff seen in the Nintendo Direct. Uh, I don't know what all the new tracks are. I don't know what retro tracks are back. So it's going to be new to me. Uh, that's why you'll probably hear me get really ridiculously excited at times. I apologize in advance, but like I said, I do enjoy this game series. So we're going to start the Grand Prix for better or worse. I still don't know the controls, and I did not see an options menu. Ironically, now that I think about it, that's something I meant to showcase to you. <laughs> Was the options? Um, Jeez, that's not a good thing. Uh, the graphics on this, for the people that always talk about graphics, I see nothing you could whine about. This is awesome. Uh, huge improvement over the Wii version. Uh, the details are great. I mean, when my nephew and I were playing, I was just like getting lost in the details here. Uh, this is my first Grand Prix in this game, so uh, bear with me. Everything else has been either solo with my nephew or team races. Let's see here. And I'm still not quite comfortable with the analog stick, in all honesty. It's kind of hard to explain on the gamepad, but uh, I'm just not totally comfortable with it used yet. Uh, if you do collide into someone in this blue area when you're in anti-gravity, you do get a speed boost, so uh, be aware of that. I know some of this is redundant if you've like already watched what my nephew and I did. But, yeah. but like these coins, I mean, with the old setup, I could have drifted through those things, no problem. Um, that's, of course, what you're going to see a lot of, spiny shit. But, uh, Let's see here. I'm still, I'm not quite sure if I want to do this whole playthrough with the um, gamepad or not. I'm kind of giving it like a test run here. That's lovely. I guess I got hit by a boomerang. I have no idea. I think it's the X button that looks behind you. The problem is when I hit that, it's hard for me to keep my finger on the accelerate button, which is why. 
shit. I thought we were going to get clocked by around the bottom. Now, the way I drift, I've been using the left shoulder button. I don't think that's what they advertise in the strangely incomplete... We'll see how we do here. Uh, the coins they do, of course, give you the speed boost also, just kind of like Mario Kart 7, they unlock things for you. Uh, this time we'll stay down here and see what we can do. Alright. So here's anti gravity. Get anywhere you see the blue. Uh, and then, of course, obviously you can tell by your cart as well. But ideally, you would have 10 coins on you. And again, I feel like I would have drifted right through those in the uh, previous versions of the game. Okay, I thought we would have outrun the red shield. Let's see if we can get these. Oh, yeah, I don't know how far back everyone is, but it looks like we slaughtered them. Alright, now on the gamepad, just for reference, you've got like a giant Mario M with a horn button. Apparently you have a horn in this game. I do not know what button it is on the gamepad. I might be hitting it and I just can't hear it. Uh, on the far left, you've got your order of racers, which you're seeing on the screen right now. Um, obviously doesn't show their points or anything. Uh, there is a window in the top right that is what you see on the TV. Below that is a track map. And then below that is something to do with the gamepad, and I'm not quite sure what it is. So, uh, you can check out your highlight reels. I doubt I ever do that unless there's like something really epic. That'll probably be more like 100, 150 cc stuff, but uh, we're going to go ahead and get started here. Pretty cool anime. I mean, it's like old school look, but it's, it's kind of like the early 90s advertisements. I don't know how many people will relate to that, but brand new track in the Mushroom Cup. It is Water Park. This one, uh, Nephew and I thought this one was kind of cool. Earlier. Again, once we get past the Mushroom Cup, I will have never seen any of these, so yeah, it'll be fun. Alright, of course, if you hit your accelerate right at the speed boost, I mean, not speed boost, if you hit accelerate, uh, right there, you know, it's like the two fades. That's how you kind of get your little speed boost. Still amazing how many people are totally oblivious to that. You know, they know you can get it, they just have no idea how. Now, this thing here, you actually want to hit it, and when you spin around, it's just like when you run into another character, you get that speed boost. This will be a mega drift right here. Oh, I missed that. And the coin. Better coin drifting. <laughs> But it's pretty cool. I mean, here early on, there's just so much to take in. Um, it's kind of overwhelming at times. You can easily get lost in the details of the level. One of these days, I'm going to land that jump without hitting the building, and we're going to go up there, get the coins, and ramp off. It looks like Peach is going to be my main competition today. I really wish it was easier for me to hit the little hand, but if there was a way to configure the controls, I would tie things in with both shoulder buttons and the ZR and ZL. I feel like that would work way better. I don't know if it's because I'm used to it from Sonic Racing or something. I also don't know how to miss that. And I can look down at the gamepad, it's just any time you do that you like run the risk of crashing into something and inverting it, so... But I mean, here early on, you know, I kind of like to check out all the sights and sounds. Finally, well, we didn't land it, but I know you can because we went over it. So, let's toss that. I'm assuming when he fist pumped those last two times in that same position, uh, it's because we basically took someone down. So you can, when you're mini, uh, you can still hit those. That's cool. Good to know. And you have to realize, you know, like here early on, the new tracks, they're probably... Good grief. 
Probably would have been advantageous to wait that out behind the power-ups. Just in preparation for like the difficult cuts. I'm gonna go about it this way. I think if you hit this it'll blow the ink off. Nope. Yeah, so. Yep, Peach, second place. Bowser, I think he was third last time, too. Uh, so, kind of a tight race up here. Uh, myself, Peach, Bowser's on the move. Wario's tied with him. Yoshi, uh, Toad, the two babies, all in contention. Iggy, not doing too well. Uh, Toadette is just basically appearing for the heck of it. So, uh, we'll go ahead and advance now. 20. Yeah, we hadn't dropped anything, which is awesome. Now, this is a game, I know a lot of people aren't into it, but I mean, I could play this literally until Mario Kart 10, because it will probably be like a portable version again before the next console. Uh, I will never get tired of it. I mean, the details here, you've got like the gingerbread people, but then there's like random toad-headed ones in there. It's just really neat. Uh, this is Sweet Sweet Canyon, by the way. I think we're gonna burn... Oh, okay, we got it. In the 50cc, you can kind of get by exploring a little bit more, getting distracted, but you want to get that out of your system, because <laughs> when you get to, like, the uh, higher races, classes, you know, it's gonna be something you won't want to do. Every time I go on that blue path, I like hit these ice cream cones and nearly go off the track. So I'll probably go on that route next time. But anytime you see that chocolate icing, it's like uh, kind of the equivalent of mud. It'll just kind of slow you down a little bit. But that's good because if you overcorrect, uh, you will actually, you know, be able to compensate and uh, not get yourself in pickle. Uh, something I noted, oh that is a horrible place to have that happen now. This is the first time Lakitu's had to bail me out. He is a boss in this game. I mean that guy like instantly snags you. You don't go off the track and have that like three second you know, lag time or something. You literally, the moment that something is wrong and the game has deemed it you can't recover from, he is on the scene making a rescue. So props to Lakitu there. Uh, he's working very hard in this game. Probably the hardest he has worked since uh, Mario 64, I would say. But I mean, like, check out the gingerbread houses. You got, like, the lollipop gumdrop. Now, those piranha plants will eat you, as you saw there. We narrowly hit <laughs> the yeah. But when you split those coins, used to in the Wii version, if you ever had a situation like that, it's usually from one that was dropped, um, you would actually get both coins. I've split those many times. And I don't. I uh, miss the mushrooms. At least we know someone else had an unfortunate game. And also, back at the start, good, good. we had a really cool side. There was like the uh, Cyan Yoshi. Okay, somebody. Okay, it's Wario. Wario must die. It's not a team race this time, so I don't have to worry about that. And generally, they, the racers do get more competitive, like, in the third and fourth races. That said, I usually seem to not get first in, like, the second or something. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. As long as you have fun, that's all that matters. Now, this power-up, probably people are going to hate it, think it's stupid, looks cheesy. I'll give you that, but that will stop a blue shell. So when you're in first place and you're near the end of the track and you have that bad boy, keep it. It will be your saving grace. Alright, so. Alright, no change there at the top, but uh, I would say. Well. Well, Peach and me really are in contention, but there's a small chance. Uh, 
No, there's really not. It's 15 would be the max. I put Bowser at 44. So Peach could win it. Uh, Bowser, Wario, uh, they could easily overtake me. But uh, we're going to go on to the final race here. This one will s probably should be done in under 30 minutes, and that's not too shabby considering we had like the 10, 12 minute intro into everything. Thwomp Ruins, this is a cool looking track. Um, I will have in the video description that the first like 10 minutes or so are an introduction to the game when we play it through, and there's still going to be people that complain. But uh, when it's in the description, I, I don't know what else to do. Alright, so I think we got our speed boost in 3 to 4. Bowser looks like he means business this time. You can go zero gravity here. I think on the first lap there's no hazards just yet. Uh, they will come very soon. Uh, that'll be a ramp in later laps as well. If you wonder like, hey, what's the deal there? Oh, I was wondering if we would get hit by that guy. We barely got past him. Something cool in this game? Headlights. You don't really see them, but I mean you can appreciate it in the visuals. So. I gotta give credit where credit is due. Uh, and yes, I am one of the people who thinks a Skylanders kart racing game would be cool. I know that'll be a question. Um, I would love to see the actual figures be used with it. I just wouldn't want it to be where you have to buy a crud ton of like special carts and special characters and things. Just if it works with the existing characters, it would be awesome. Uh, the way to do that is just like a single player battle game. Oh, thank goodness that post was there. Um, <laughs> and, uh, basically set it up that way, and then maybe where they could have like a uh, downloadable patch in the future. And then that, of course, would allow you to have like, Skylanders 5 figures then be active in the game that was released, you know, a little prior to that. So that'd be a sweet setup. It's also going to be interesting, Nintendo is apparently going to go uh, more with the NFC figures, that's the uh, near field communication, which you can see on the gamepad. Uh, that's what the Pokemon Rumble U stuff did. Those were very limited, they kind of didn't take off, and then they got just popular enough to be insanely difficult to find, and then they were gone. But I think that was kind of like Nintendo's test run with that type of thing. Uh, it will be interesting, they're claiming that the figures will work. Oh, geez. Across multiple platforms. Not platforms, but uh, games. So that's going to be pretty interesting. Uh, which means they've also had that in the works for quite some time. So. I've yet to see. I uh, don't know if that's a good idea. Okay. That worked out pretty well compared to how it could have been. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to hit the uh, look behind button and I can't get it. Okay, something happened to my controller so... Oh, blue shit. Nice way to finish it out with some tin. Hopefully. Once we get another blue shot. I'm just gonna glide this one all the way down, I think. Across the line? Nope. Almost. Nonetheless, quite the kickoff to our little campaign here. Granted, I had played these tracks, I guess, twice each because of my nephew, but, you know. Uh, really cool stuff. There you can see the headlights up front. That's, that's pretty neat. 60. Peach got 46. Wario made a run there. But, uh, nonetheless. Now I get to see if there's, like, the trophy ceremony. That's something my nephew and I were wondering, so... Uh, let's continue on here. We're going to view results. I really like the trophy presentations in Mario Kart Wii. That's like some of my first ever YouTube videos. Uh, and it wasn't even a capture card. It was me filming my old TV. You can see like the wavy lines and stuff. Yes. Alright, so kind of the uh, same type of format. Just better highlights. 
Hope we get to see Iggy. I'm kind of curious what he looks like in the game. Obviously, I don't have him unlocked. I don't have anybody unlocked. Outside of the game. All right, so this is kind of a cool deal. They show the Mushroom Cup insignia, your rank in each uh, each race there. I'm just gonna let this roll through. Um, okay, so it does end on its own. I didn't want to like press A and skip something else special. Okay, so no podium. Which is kind of a bummer. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and some of you might not miss the podium. I thought the podium was cool. So, uh, that said, we have unlocked the flower cup. That's an unlockable everyone can get behind, so uh, that's cool with us. We've unlocked a new character. I uh, wonder who it might be. You've collected 200 coins. A new vehicle customization option has been unlocked. You got a new stamp. Would you like to post to Miiverse? Since it's the first time, why the heck not? I've never actually posted to Miiverse, uh, so bear with me here. Uh, me, one of wisdom. T tap here to write. What do I want to say? Oh yeah, Kool-Aid man. Now we'll just do this. Now when I, you know, yeah, this is something a lot of people don't seem to do. It seems to be like a regional thing. Y-E-A-H to me is yeah. Like, yeah, that would be correct. Or, oh yeah. Uh, Y-E-A is yay. You know, like exclamation point. Um... Yay, this is fun, yada yada, and the H indicates it's yeah. So, granted, you can't see the gamepad screen, I just realized, so, uh, my pad. But, uh, we're just gonna post that, oh yeah, and, uh, we're going to make the ecstatically smiling face, and we'll send it. Content you've entered will now be sent. Uh, it does not include spoilers, so we're gonna send it. No idea what'll happen from this. I don't post in Miiverse too terribly often, but the content we entered was sent successfully. And we're back to the game, so that's kind of an awkward pause for you. Uh, <laughs> I may not do that much more, because you can't see what I did, sadly. Uh, it was all on the gamepad. I guess if we had a uh, Wii mode or different controller, you might have been able to see it. But uh, three started. That's cool. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, press A, I guess. Alright, so we come back right here. As you can see, we had 28 stamps. Now we're up to 29. And um, I'm going to come in. I'm going to end this right here. We'll come in. I don't know if I'm going to go retro or if I'm going to go straight into the flower cup. I'll be debating that off camera, uh, which I won't be off camera very long. But uh, nonetheless, I'll try to pick out what to do there. Um, Hopefully you're going to enjoy this playthrough. I'm stoked about it. I've been looking forward to this game for a long, long time. Again, Mario Kart Wii, not the sole reason my nephew and I got into recording and uploading video game footage, but a very, very significant player in that decision. We played that game online all the time. We always, every night, there was like some crazily, you know, epic finish. Uh, some ridiculous hijink shenanigan ending and it was like every night it was like man I wish we would have recorded that and it got to be such a repetitive statement man I wish we would have recorded that we're like hey I'm, I'm we're actually gonna we're gonna start doing that and uh, capture some of this and then shortly after that it got to the point where my internet disconnected all the time uh, which was a total buzzkill uh, we'd still play locally and try to do it online and stuff but uh, the internet's gradually improved it helped when they replaced the uh, insufficiently uh, small diameter cable I guess this past year but um, We'll see how that goes again on that end, but uh, from now on, you know, there's not going to be like the 10, 12 minute intro and look at all the features, yada yada. It'll just be, we're coming in here, we're playing the cup, here's our four races, and we're done. So, um, in the event that I ever like bomb something, you know, maybe we don't, I don't know, win out or something, might come back in immediately, I might just forego that one and make a new recording. We'll take it as it comes, see what happens. Uh, 
you could be the greatest Mario Kart player in the world. And the way this game is geared, um, your perfect driving and your perfect lines and dodging all of the course's natural obstacles will be shot in the foot whenever you get hit with a boomerang and lightning during a jump and then a red shell and then come back into first place and an epic comeback and take a blue shell. You know, It's just the way the game works. It's what makes it fun. It's what makes it endearing. But uh, we'll do something. I think everyone should enjoy this. Uh, might bring some new people to the channel. I don't know. But uh, like I said, this game, Mario Kart Wii, uh, pretty much the reason we got into recording and uploading footage back in the day. Uh, so I will leave it at that. We're going to continue on here. Like I said, these next ones, everything after this is just going to be pretty much straightforward. So uh, no long introductions, things of that nature. As always, though, thanks for watching. If you are not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. That will keep you up with all the latest. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, whichever you prefer. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you'll enjoy this playthrough. I'm having a blast. I can't wait to see what the next four tracks are that are new, and I can't wait to see what the next four in the retro cup are so it's all blind to me uh, once we get past you know the uh, first retro cup that my nephew and I have played in so uh, I'm ecstatic can't wait to see what's going on but uh, we'll do that in part two so again thanks for watching and I will catch you back in just a second